Those new trendy motorized scooters around town are not only making a buzz in the streets, but they've also caught the attention of Columbus City Council. Happening as we speak, the Columbus City Council is holding a public hearing as the city looks at the current and potentially new regulations for the devices. NBC 4's Tyler Carter is live outside of City Hall where she's been sitting in on this hearing. Tyler. Yeah, Katie, you know, the first half of this public hearing was just to outline the definition of these electronic scooters and what the future of it means to this city. But one of the main takeaway points is to educate the public on best safe riding practices. The fast riding two wheeled scooters have been on Columbus City streets for a little over two months, receiving some negative and positive reviews from riders and people who have to share the roadways with these scooters. Being that we're the smart city, uh, we want to live up to that and be a welcoming city when it comes to new transportation options. City Councilman Emmanuel Remy, Chairman of Public Service and Transportation, says tonight's meeting will give citizens a chance to express their likes and dislikes about the new street technology. Donovan O'Neill, founder of Scooter C Bus, says he knew he had to get involved in the city's conversation when Mayor Andrew Ginther announced his proposed regulations a couple of weeks ago. He says he doesn't want to see the scooters banned in Columbus like neighboring cities and suburbs, including Bexley and Cleveland. Any regulation or rules that the city would put into place try to mirror the, the same rules that are already in place for bicyclists. When asked how are police going to regulate these scooters from not riding them on the sidewalks and yielding to pedestrians, Remy says any regulation would most likely be put in place for liability reasons and not so much for policing. If somebody were to cause an accident um, with a pedestrian, for instance, because they were riding on the sidewalk, well, we certainly would know who was at fault in that case. And council is not expected to vote on any proposed regulation tonight. If a vote were to come down or to happen, that will take place next week. Live and local for you in Columbus, Tyler Carter, NBC4. All right, Tyler, thank you.